everybody's multidimensional, but particular passions from lived experience and education or whatever it is that drew them there that I'm like, I can always count on everybody here to teach me something. Lauren coached me for three years and taught me so much about the sport and so much about what it is to, to be on this level and, and to use your voice in a positive way. Um, I mean, Kara's like anti-doping work she's done is amazing and something that, that I respect so much. And, um, and then Allison and her like representation work is amazing. Um, I'm, I'm of South Asian descent and I never even really thought about representation until kind of what I, what I read from Allison. Um, and then of course, Jenna back here, like I had never really watched wheelchair racing and now I like want to become an advocate for it because I love watching her so much. So I think my favorite aspect of the sport is watching people find like freedom in their bodies and strengthen themselves, you know, like, like whether you're a young kid running or you're in college or you're an elite or you're an adult that just picked it up. There's like this transformation that happens, not necessarily physically, but like mentally that you can handle a lot and that you're stronger than you think. And so I think just the beauty of people finding the freedom of running is my favorite thing. What I love most about community building is that people's lives are changed, right? I think that when we attempt things by ourselves, and really nothing great happens by yourself, but when we attempt things alone, um, it's not as fun, it, it's lonely, it can be more frustrating, but when you do things in community with the support, love, joy, energy of other people, um, you run further, you run faster, you run more, you run joy more joyfully. So that's what I love. I love bringing people together um, and having people experience that. I love racing because of how it makes me feel and, and who it's helped me to become. And I think through racing, I have been able to see my disability as something that is so beautiful versus seeing it as an inconvenience or something that is extremely lacking. Sports is a industry built by men for men and boys and we fought really hard to get access to those um, spaces but there are countless ways that female bodied individuals are erased in their fundamental experiences. I mean, we were just talking today about periods. It's taboo to talk about periods. It's, um, there's all these weird euphemisms for it. Uh, some, something like, I think in track and field, only 17% of the coaches are women. And so you have, you need to bridge that gender gap of talking to male coaches about this thing. And, and, um, and that just the development of breasts alone. And it fundamentally changes the way it feels to move through the world at a very vulnerable time. Like having some awareness about that, even at a base level, instead of pretending it doesn't exist. Cause that's what we currently do in sports. We just pretend anything that deviates from the male default body, just, it's just happening over there, <laughs> but it doesn't really exist. You should be able to just keep doing what everybody else is doing. So Lauren's work, our work is very intersectional when you think about, because she, she she's talking about male bodies and I'm thinking about white male bodies, right? And white female bodies and the way that the industry really has not addressed um, issues of racial justice, right? And when you look at who are the folks that are sprinting and jumping in track and field, it's black people who are the folks in long distance, middle distance, it's mostly white people. Um, and that has to do with stereotyping from a very young age, lack of role modeling, and then thinking about the lack of access to safety and resources that it requires to run distance. Um, and then on top of that, if you look at the industry, who, who, who are owners in the industry, it's white men, right? They control um, all the governing bodies, all the brands, except for this one, all of the retail stores, right? So as long as the power is concentrated in, in white male hands, um, they're really only thinking of their own interests and their own experiences, which, you know, is fair. We all can only know our own experience, but for running to truly be open um, to all, we need to let more people in and um, think about what are the obstacles to just going for a run. My superpower is relating, whether that's relating to people with a different perspective than I have or two different um, ideas or like fields of study, relating them together. That's something that I kind of do unconsciously and, and feel that I can help make change by doing that well. Oh, I love it. Um, I think my answer has changed a lot over time. I think when I was younger, I ran because I was good at it and I ran because um, I made my family proud and it made other people proud around me. 
Uh, but now after so many years of injuries and, and kind of learning a lot of the sport, I mean, I still run because I love it. I, I want to get faster. I want to see how good, um, how good I can be, how fast my body can go. And also in these last few years of my career, I, I want to make sure I give back um, and I leave the sport better than I found it. I feel like those can be scary things to kind of put yourself out there and say like, this is what I care about. But seeing all of you do it, it just makes it feel like, well, then I have to do it. You know, we have to do it. We have to keep fighting together. So I think it's really cool. Yeah, I think a lot about how like I, we all have but so much energy, right? So like I have, I use all my energy for what I care about, but I'm so happy that there are people who are equally as passionate and have just as much energy for another mm -hmm. issue or cause um, because there's certainly no, there's so much work to be done, you know? So um, it's, it's nice to have people alongside of you. I feel like I'm sitting under running Mount Rushmore. <laughs> <laughs> I keep looking up at you guys. Wow. <laughs>